Make it a songbook turn 139.
two songs back to back. I don't believe it uh, I don't believe it hurt you if you're able. Turn to 120. See if you give us a key on this one. How many has been saved by amen? amen. How many is glad they've been saved by amen? How many thinks they come to worship the Lord this morning by amen? I heard an old old story
some sweet day I'll sing up there the song of victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He saw me. stand here today and I think of a way that some people just don't understand how myself 
Savior in love wrote my name in his blood I'm engraved in the palm of his hand I'm engraved in the palm of his Come sing with him <laughs> and his wife. Well, they quit. Uh oh, she fumbled something. They said, Oh, quick, didn't they? Hey! 
this with me just a little bit. We'll do that in just a second. All right. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. Now you know it's singing. God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, He's so good to me, God answers prayer. God answers prayers, God answers prayers, He's so good to me, God save my soul, God save my soul. small still voice and a sweet sweet spirit amen he's here if you let him talk to you he's here we've already asked you to stand once but if you feel like it would you stand again and you sing this song with us all right <laughs> as the world looks upon me as a struggle They say I have nothing, but they are so wrong. In my heart I'm rejoicing, how I wish they could see. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. 
have a good place to sleep. Got cheese, got my feet. There's food on my table. show you something, but I've got to wait. Maybe next Sunday. 
what the Lord showed me. I'm going to wait till next Sunday. Some of them ain't here this morning. But I'm glad that he'll hold my hand. It's over through this life we travel. He said, I'll never leave you. I, I'm going to go with you. I'll hold your hand. Yeah. Amen. It's good once again to be here. Amen. Before we get into the message this morning to the church, I appreciate you. You treat me just like I was somebody special. After 50 years or 40 years of preaching, you still treat me just like it was yesterday. Yeah. Thank you so much, every one of you, for your kindness, for what you have did for us down through the years. And the Lord has given us one more time. One more time, he has blessed us to stand and maybe tell somebody about Jesus. I'm going to preach a message this morning the Lord has laid upon her heart that may not be too popular. But i got to preach it. Not have I only learned to Trust him, as Brother Dolan Cornelius used to say. But I have learned to depend upon the Lord. Amen. I depend upon him for my help because I know where my help comes from. Amen. My help comes from the Lord. Yeah. Yes, and I'll tell you what, by his grace and his mercy, we are here again today. Amen. Didn't know that. Uh, I was going to have to do this, but parents obey your children. <laughs> All right, if you're visiting with us this morning, we welcome you. And bear with us if you can for just a moment uh, uh, as we try to bring out the Word of God to you that He has laid upon our heart. Yes, uh, going to preach a message this morning that... Uh, Lord has laid upon her heart. We tried to get away from it. We've tried to find something else. But, you know, this is a saying. Uh, the Lord, He don't supply our ever want. He supplies our ever need. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, that is not true. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That take care of that, didn't it? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. If you've got the Lord in your heart today, what else is there to want for? He said He would supply our ever needs according to His riches and glory. So my friend, this morning, I want this morning uh, from the depths of my heart, if you're here and you don't know Jesus Christ, uh, I want to see you saved. Uh, I want to see you uh, come to the Lord. Today would be my heart's desire. So this morning, if we could, uh, we'd like to preach on no cure, no cure for pestilence. No cure for pestilence. For many years, I, I thought, well, pestilence, that's what gets on your garden and eats it up, and animals and all of that. They are pests. But we're going to look at pestilence this morning. Yes, and there is no cure for it. It's here forever, and they're spending millions and millions and millions of dollars trying to come up with a cure, but I'd like to tell them there is no cure, but there is hope. Yes, there is hope, and there is things that we can do that will get us to uh, this uh, pestilence that's upon our land today. So, uh, if you'll turn with us to Psalms 91. Psalms 91, and we'll read a few verses there. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And he said, and I say, uh, I say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my, my fortress, uh, my God, in Him will I trust. <coughs> 
So we're getting to, uh, we're getting to it now. There's no cure for it, uh, but here's the remedy uh, that we got here in the Bible, how to get through it. All right, and he said, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Yes, no cure, but he will deliver us uh, uh, from it, uh, and he said, uh, and he and he said, and he shall cover me with his feathers, uh, and under his wing shall thou trust his truth shall be thy buckler and thy shield. So we see here, there's no cure, uh, but I tell you what, this morning, uh, uh, there is a remedy to get through it. Uh, uh, because he said here in this, uh, he shall cover me with the uh, feathers uh, and under his wings. Uh, and he said, uh, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror of the night, nor for the arrow that falleth. By day, for uh, the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that waiteth at noonday. So we see this morning there is no cure for uh, this pestilence. Uh, number one, they say, is heart disease, heart attack. That is the number one. That is a pestilence. Uh, number one, they say, is the killer of people, uh, is heart failure. Uh, that is a pestilence, and there is no cure for it. Uh, you, there's no cure. They're spending thousands and thousands of dollars, but there's no cure uh, for that heart ailment and heart attack. And the next pestilence that we see is cancer. How many millions and millions of dollars have been spent trying to find a cure for cancer? The only cure for cancer <laughs> is put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, and pestilent number three, we might say, uh, I've had it for years. Uh, uh, they've tried everything, but there's no cure for it, and that is diabetes. There's no cure. That is a pestilence. That is a pestilence. There's no cure for it. Uh, but I tell you what, uh, uh, they've got things out there to help us get through it. Uh, and you know how the best way to get through these things that can't be cured? Put your trust in the Lord. And He will help you through them. And here comes number four. All right. Kobe 19 is taking lives. That is a pestilence. That is a pestilence that's in our land today. It's taking lives one right after another. There's no cure for it. There's no cure for it. Oh, they got shots out and things of that to help us get with it, get by if we have it. Uh, we had it. Me and Jackie, we had it. Well, they wouldn't know doctor cured us, I'll tell you that. Amen. We put our trust in the Lord, and I'm here today. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness that you give us. Yes, he does this thing, and I want to say this, and maybe you don't agree with me, but these pestilence that there is no cure for, God sent them to wake people up. Amen. I believe that with all of my heart. God has sent these pestilence uh, to wake people up uh, and to show them there's no cure for it. Uh, uh, but the only thing that we can do is put our trust in the Lord. If we'll put our trust in the Lord, He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll go with you even unto the end of the world. Uh, so we see uh, uh, there is a remedy, but a not a cure. The Lord... I spoke on it from way back in the beginning. It's mentioned, I don't know how many times in the Bible, these pestilence, they was back there uh, in the beginning, and God spoke about them. Uh, 
and they've been spoken of down through the years and still over in the New Testament, we still find them being spoken of. So if there had been a cure for it, God would have put it in here. But there's no cure. There's no cure for this pestilent uh, that is upon our land and country. There's no cure for it. And we looked over there in the book of Matthew, I believe it was. Uh, and let me read a little bit if I can find what I'm looking for. Over in the book of Matthew, uh, I'll find it. Just hang on me. I'm like many pearls clock. I'm a little slow. Yeah, all right. Over in the book of Matthew, let's look at this pistol. Here we go again down there. Uh, it's in the uh, 24th chapter of the book of Matthew. We find the pistol again mentioned. And the Bible said, And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, uh, uh, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence. Famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Yes, there's no cure for these uh, 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 rumors of wars and wars because the Bible said it would come to pass. And he said that uh, there be a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. They ain't got no cure for it. They keep right on and on. Man, he said, and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. If there was a remedy to stop an earthquake, they'd do it. There's none. Same as there is no cure for pestilence. For these things that is coming because God said they would happen. And you know, one of these days they are going to be cured. Yes, well, how are they going to do that? When this world is on far and around and down far and brimstone, all these things will be done away. But here's the good part. There is a cure for God's people. We'll be out of here. Yes, we'll be gone because the Bible said uh, that his redemption, uh, his coming draweth nigh. So don't be worried. People are scared to death. Uh, well, uh, they're afraid to get out. Uh, but I tell you what, it's all right to protect yourself. I know the Lord wants us to do that. But I tell you what, don't, don't crawl in a hole and wait for a cure because there's not one. There's not one, the only thing that's going to help us get through that. Put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and He will help us. He'll get us through this. I know it's sad. Yes, Lord, uh, they millions and millions are spending upon it. Uh, and none of them people that claims to be so smart don't even know what a pistol is in the Bible. They need to open up the old King James and begin to read it. And when they get up there, they'll say, Well, uh, uh, there's no cure, but i tell you how we can get through it. Uh, we can put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and believe upon Him, and He'll make a way uh, for us to escape this thing that is coming. It's coming, church, and we cannot escape from it. Death is coming. And we may be taken out of here by this uh, uh, disease, this disease I call it, by this pestilent. We may be taken out of here by this pestilent that's taken so many people. We may be taken out of here, but if we are, that was in God's plan. God knows exactly how we're going to leave here. He knows it so. I tell you what, just put his trust in him. And when that time comes, you'll be ready. You don't have to worry about nothing. Uh, because uh, uh, God's got it all planned out and he's got it all took care of. So don't worry about it. Uh, uh, should I go today through a, a heart attack uh, or through uh, uh, this 
showed me that's in our land. Uh, that was the way I believe with all of my heart that it was planned for us to leave here. But until that day comes, uh, until that time comes, uh, let us uh, be thankful. Uh, let us rejoice and praise the Lord uh, that He has kept us here this long to enjoy the good things of life uh, and to enjoy each other's uh, I tell you what, it's a pleasure, it's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord this morning. It's a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Count your blessings if you can. <laughs> you run out of fingers before you got started, would you? You bless him. God blessed us this morning to get a good night's rest and to wake up and be in the presence of God with God's people in a good church. And we should be thankful for that. Amen. Yes, this morning, Lord laid that song on her heart one day. One day when I travel my last mile here, the call's going to come for me. Maybe through a heart attack, maybe cancer, maybe a COVID 19 or any other thing. But ever what it will be, it's in God's plan. And we cannot change it. All the thing we can do is just be ready for it. Be ready for an hour when you think not Jesus will be returning. Just any day now, He'll. He'll be returning. He'll be coming for the church. I'm in that church, that glorious church. I did not join. I had a new birth. And I tell you what, this morning, by the help of God and what I did years ago, I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't want to. I, I don't want to leave my family. Don't want to leave my friends. But when he calls, Brother Carlos, I'm going. Amen. I can't get out of him. Yeah. So one of these pestilence that we've talked about, it may take me out of here. But be not afraid. If you have been born again, be not afraid. Now when death comes, don't be afraid. Just be ready for it. Just be ready Right now, this very moment, this very day, is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Just get ready for it and say, here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. I'm ready for it. Should you come today? I'm ready. <laughs> yes, I'm ready, Lord. Should you come today? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready this morning? A good question. I'm glad the Lord... Touch me. And give me one more time. This may be the last time I'll get to stand before you. May be the last time, but let me tell you before we go. We love you. We love you and we thank the Lord for everybody here, for, for all the good people that he has blessed to uh, come to our church lately of this Lord, I believe he puts the best, don't you? And I just have to say thank you, Lord, for Amen. placing good people in this church to worship with us. Amen. We mean that from the depths of our heart. And I wanted to show you what the Lord showed me. But the Lord's going to let me stay here just a little bit longer. He's, I feel it. He's going to let me stay here to show you what he showed me. And I wanted Shane and the rest of the family to be here when he did. I may not be living <laughs> when Jesus comes. I may be in a grave somewhere. But that ain't going to stop me from rising. That ain't going to stop me. Because the burst graves are going to burst open. You talk about a ground shaking. <laughs> talk about a ground shaking. 
Yeah, they say when you go to the cemetery, watch how you step. Oh, <laughs> them, them graves might bust stolen just any minute. Yeah, so watch, watch how you walk when you go to the cemetery. Graves are going to burst open. And out of that ground, if I should be laying there, there's going to come a glorified body like that unto Jesus. A glorified body, no, no pain. Brother Ronnie talked about it this morning there. I have not seen nor ear heard, or has it entered into the heart of man the good things that God has prepared for those that love Him. I love the Lord. And one of these days I'm going to see things that I thought was good down here, but there's nothing to be compared to the glory that is waiting for the family of God. We had some of our church members has left us this year. Yes, they've done, went on to be with Jesus. And I can hear them right now. Just wait till you see my brand new home. Heavenly Father promised me, and I'm going to occupy it for free. Just wait till you see it. Wait till you see it, and then you'll know why it said in the Bible, I have not seen or heard, and ain't even entered into the heart. We can't imagine. We can't even begin to imagine. John saw it, but he couldn't even describe it. He saw it, but he couldn't even describe it. He told him to shut up the book. Shut up the book. Don't even try to explain it. Just live the way that one day you'll go to see it. I'm going to see that brand new home. I'm going to see it. Can't imagine what it's going to look like. For can't imagine. Our mind can't apprehend what's going to happen. We love you this morning in the Lord. Hope everybody's saved here today. And again, we thank you, church, for your love that you have showed to us you're you're so kind and we appreciate it from the depths of our heart it's been a pleasure my friends been a pleasure to have uh, been a pastor of a beautiful body like this for years and we thank you for it and one of these days my friend let's all get together where we won't have to separate it again, but we'll live forever Amen. with Jesus Christ and there'll be no more pestilence where we're going. No pestilence. Everything is going to be made brand new. Everything is going to be new. Even a new body like that under Jesus. Man, what a day that will be when my Jesus I will see. Come on. When I look upon his face, can you sing that song? Sing that song, boy. Would you? Sing this song, boy. Right now, listen to this. There is listen. A day that day could be today when for you. No heartache shall come. No more. No more clouds. No more pestilence in the sky. No pestilence. No more tears to dim the eye. All is peace. All is peace. That place is called heaven. Evermore. You can oh, have that, that this morning. What a day is coming. Shore. What a day that's going to be. What a day. Glorious day. My Jesus, when my the one that saved us from our sins, I shall see. And when we look when upon his face and say, Lord, Jesus, we face, thank you for saving us. The one who we thank you for taking care of us. This morning, God's speaking to you. Don't wait. Don't wait another moment. Just come, on. come on right now. Don't let nothing stand in your way. The promised land. What a day. What a day. Glorious day that will be. What a day that will be. We can't there imagine. 
will be no song. When we can hear there, Jesus say, No more birds. Welcome home. Burdens to Welcome bear. home. No more sickness. No sickness, nor pain. No cancer. No diabetes. No more COVID 19. All will be peace and joy. And forever, and forever I, will I will be with the one with no sickness, who died for no me. disease. All will be glorious day that will be. What a day that will be. What a day that will be. When Jesus I shall see when I look upon his face. The one that saved me. Who saved we can say thank you, Lord, for your goodness for saving us. When this morning, if he's speaking to you, I don't come. Don't wait. They may not be another time. This may be the last time that he'll ever speak to you. Don't take that change. Don't day, take that change. Glorious day that will be. Amen. Amen. Here comes the day for the children of God. Amen. Why would anybody want to miss a place that the Bible talks about? A place where there's no sickness, a place where there's no death, no sorrow, nothing. The Bible said that we'll enter there that we'll defile. Amen. Nothing going to enter there that and it's going to bring sadness or anything. All is peace forevermore on that happy golden shore. What a day. What a day. That will be Amen. when all of us are together, all of us together in heaven, who will never have to say goodbye and never part again. Somebody, Brother Darwin, yes. You are a picture of his song right here, and the Lord laid it on my heart. God bless you. We didn't have the words. Amen. What he's doing. My heart can sing when I pause to remember a heartache here is but a stepping stone along the trail that's winding on. Always upward, no way, no this troubled world is not well, my final home. Keep on. But until then, my heart will go on singing. Until then. Until Pray that everybody here will be gathered together.